first of all, with one of our, our key areas that we tend to look at is the best place to start from leaving here today and looking at what you're trying to achieve in the future is with a good old fashioned gap analysis. It is as simple as what it says, it's an analysis of where the organisation is and where you think any of the gaps actually are. It's applicable not just to people who are looking at setting up a new service or part of a service, but also for anybody who has been in existence for quite some time and wants to see where we're going to into the future. The idea behind it is to try and identify where are the key things that are going to cause me concern into the future and how I've got a plan in place to actually deal with those. There is a wealth of information out there to use to actually support you to do this. We don't need to wait for the regulations to come. We do know what they're going to look like. Every set of regulations that have been released in the last number of years, be it to do with the special care centres, be it to do with any of the draft standards for the children's residential units, the disability services, they're all following the same framework. So if we're looking in terms of home care and what's coming down the line, we know it's going to have similar concepts, similar themes to what's already in existence. So using the legislation, be it for the nursing homes, looking at the national standards, be it the ones for the nursing homes or the Safer Better Healthcare standard, they're going to give us that indication of where, where we need to be looking at. When you're looking at the gap analysis, it's hugely important to remember that this is not a documentation of you. It's not about sitting and looking up, be it the legislations or the standards or whatever they are, and saying, do I have a policy in place for that? Or have I got that written down? Or do I have a care plan for that? It has to be about using that triangulation approach to ensure that what we think is actually happening out on the ground is actually happening on the ground. If we have a person that we're providing services in home care to, and we're looking at their plan, and their plan says that our carer arrives and administers medication and ensures that they're okay and gives them whatever support that they need, is that actually happening out on the ground? And the only way that we know if that's happening is by banning in visits with people to see what's actually going on and talking to our staff, our frontline staff and the management <coughs> between two of those areas, between ourselves and them, to see whether that's happening. Because it is amazing, every time we do a gap analysis, how many gaps you see between what we think is actually happening and then when we go and see the reality of what's happening on the ground. And it is the biggest wealth of information that we can get to find out where those gaps are. Because we're in a full sense of illusion that if we're not doing that, because what we think is going on out in there, we need to actually go out and validate to see it. So under that gap analysis heading, it's the same structure that HICWE use, but it is a very practical approach to say, what am I looking at here? First of all, what does the documentation say? But in addition to that, can I go out and actually see it happening on the ground? And when I talk to staff, are they giving me the information that I'm expecting? Are they following the processes that I expect them to do? After gap analysis, what's really important to do then? Well, is to look at the issues that have arisen and try and find ways to actually identify who you are at a unique, not a unique, but at a very advantageous position. The fact the regulation hasn't come in yet, we have time to build these things in place. So the sooner that you do that evaluation with your organisation and find out where your priorities are, the sooner you can then start to build in things to address those issues and the more of your staff and your team you can get in.